Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool free drum processing plugin. It is called Refire. And this is how the plugin looks. It's awesome. It looks so beautiful with this black and different colors to it. It has few presets in here that we can choose from. And here it is oversampling right here. And you have this help menu right here. And you have this power switch to turn off the plugin. Now here you have five different effects. You have bang. Heat, Sub, Detail, Clamp. And you can turn on and off this specific effect from this little round button right here. You can turn it on and off and here you have input and output knob you have high pass you have low pass filters right here you have width, and you have mixed knob right here that's it that's really simple now let me show you the demo of this plugin okay in the background i have a simple drum loop let me play you that without this refire plugin okay cool that's how it sounds now let's turn on the plugin Choose the preset punchy. So this is before. And this is after really sick VST plugin to process your drum on the go with few clicks let's try to tweak some of these knobs and let's see how it affect the sound okay So with bit of tweaks and tweaks here and there you can come up with really cool sounding your drums and it's a really small little plugin with uh, awesome filters and effects to it you should definitely go try this plugin out for once so guys this is where we get this plugin the link is mentioned in the description go ahead and click on it and it will straight up bring you to this website in here you're gonna see this icon windows and this little icon click on it and this will instantly start downloading the file okay let's open this folder up like always we're gonna extract it let's open this folder and here they have the VST tree format we're gonna copy this go to this PC C drive and go to program files in here look for common files folder in here we're gonna paste it on VST3 folder inside Apple studio go to options file settings manage plugins and click on find install plugins and let Apple studio do the job for you this is basically gonna scan the entire folder listed out in here okay after scanning we can close this go to this little plugin icon click on install click on effects click on new and there we should have it now you can just drag and drop it in here there we have the plugin it's a worth trying out plugin guys anyway that's it for this video i really hope it helps please comment rate subscribe and share that would mean so much to me and i will see in the next video guys peace i'm out